The Medical Marijuana Commission is getting around to handing out new dispensaries, but a judge says not so fast. And judge Wendell Griffin voided the license for the first dispensary outside the original 32 winners. ZHV 11's Rolly Hoyt has the details behind the ruling. Craig and Marlisa, the legal holdups have been chronic for years, and it's the second time that Judge Griffin has thrown a flag on this process. A group says they missed out of a lucrative license by going along with that process, and now the judge wants the state to clear the air. I think that the state isn't following its rules, and the state has um, held on to money we think it shouldn't have. Chris Burks is a lawyer for Medicana. The company just missed getting a dispensary license in Pine Bluff, but in the four years since medical marijuana became legal, they held out hope that they would eventually score one. My clients and a lot of people around the state have spent money on that expectation. Uh, they're entrepreneurs. They want to serve patients. Uh, they want to be treated fairly by the government. But when they lost that first round, Burke says the government was obligated to return half of its application fees, about $3,500. The state says applicants could ask for the money back, but... But once you do that, you'll no longer be considered active, uh, and really that's where the dispute is in this scenario. And if you're not active, you can't get a license. You forfeit your place in line. So when the Medical Marijuana Commission got around to replacing some of the original 32 applicants, Medicana got passed by Nature's Herbs and Wellness. Uh, that company, Nature's Herbs and Wellness, uh, has paid the $15,000 licensing fee. They posted the $100,000 bond and they've been formally licensed since February the 3rd. And what the state did is they didn't give half of it back to everybody. They just picked winners and losers, gave half of it back to some people, didn't give half of it back to the other. And Judge Wendell Griffin agrees. He called it an arbitrary and capricious process. The state says all the applicants knew that's how it worked, but Burke says they should have written the law differently. Uh, this is just yet another example of the government um, not playing by its own rules. Now, Nature's Herbs isn't expected to open right away, so the restraining order won't shut them down in any dramatic way. But that could change when all the parties go back to court next Tuesday.